Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims video. Recently, I attempted to install the original release version of The Sims 4 base game, which was actually successful. So if you want to check that out, there'll be a card up in the left of the screen, the, the right, the right of the screen. Sorry, it's left for me. Up in the right hand side of the screen, there'll be a card. Check that out. But today we're going to be trying to install the release version of The Sims 3. Now this is the actual version I got in 2009 when the game came out. It is also green screening too, so you can see some cool stuff behind it. But I'm hoping this should just install pretty simply without an internet connection, because 2009, who had the internet, am I right? There's only one disc, and <laughs> whoa, it's very green. It's super green. So, let's try and put it in. Right, welcome to the Install Shield Wizard for The Sims 3. Alright, let's install. Here we go. So far, no issues, which I'm not surprised. I figured we'd have more issues with The Sims 4 trying to install than The Sims 3. So this this should just work. Maybe in the meantime we can read the back of the box. This will be fun. Unleash your creativity, The Sims 3. Be a thief, rockstar, or world leader. Customize everything. See, that's, that's actually still very cool to this day. Pick traits from evil to romantic and more. Shove your movies and Sims online. See, they, they're saying that. I don't, did they ever have movie integration in the game? Like, on the website? Or do you just have to do that yourself? Explore new locations. Create anyone. I gotta say, these are not great back-of-the-box descriptions. But, to be fair, this actually did come out of a collector's edition. It says on the back of this, do not sell separately. Because it came in the collector's edition, so... I'm hoping that the real one maybe had, like, different, uh, you know, sales information on the back. So this is, uh, this is going incredibly fast. Um, we're about, <laughs> like, four to five minutes into this and we've got this far. Alright, well, I'll see you when it's done. Alright, it's been legitimately, like, 40 minutes and an error did pop up halfway through, but it kind of kept going, so I'm hoping we're still good. Uh, join our customer experience improvement program. If you accept, Electronics Arts will collect anonymous information about your gameplay to help identify trends and usage patterns. No! Okay, so we finished the install, in theory. Let's see if we can actually launch the game. Alright, so it's installed. Uh, this is the release version. I, I mean, I guess it says version 1.0.631.00002. I don't know if that's the first version. We're on The Sims Wiki again. My, I've been using this website a lot lately. Good stuff, guys. Uh, so over on The Sims Wiki, whoops. The release version is 1.0.631. So we are definitely on the very first version. And fun fact about this first version, actually released in Australia on June 4, which is also, as you know, my birthday. It was pretty, it was pretty cool. It was actually a pretty cool birthday present to have it released then. Uh, so what can we actually see in here? I'm technically online now. There's no downloads, no uploads, and installed content. So the, the launcher looks pretty much the same to this day from 2009. Obviously some of the layout changed, but that's about it. But let's play. Let's play! Yes, here we go! The Sims 3! Wow, look at that resolution. Oh god, even the audio quality is low. I remember seeing this the first time, just getting so hyped. I mean, the temptation to skip it is real, but like, it's just hyped you up. Look, cars and bikes and open world! Celebrity rock stars, which is kind of misleading, because you couldn't really do that. I mean, you could- I think it was a career, but not much else. I also find it really interesting in like- I never understood this in video games, where clearly you play the game, it's high resolution than this video. Like, why did they render this video in the lowest bitrate possible and resolution? Yeah, here we go. Mmm, yeah. Sims 3. Release. Version. Copyright 2009. Electronic Arts Inc. I like this loading screen. It's, it's kind of, it's nice and simple. Alright, so here we are. Sunset Valley. One world. It's the only world we got. Before Pleasant View, there was Sunset Valley, founded by the Goth family and built up by the land grabs to be a quiet, peaceful town. But when the Altos, <gasps> Holly Alto and Carol Alto <laughs> arrived with uptown ideals, the town with will the town strike feel the need to choose sides also um let's have a look at the options because these have changed a lot too uh, obviously i fiddled with some of these just for the settings are all good uh that's good yeah there's a lot more in here if you have like expansions and update the game cool all right let's play hey so one thing about the sims 3 like i look at it it's it's very cool it's very open world very creative 
But I just don't think the, the art style of this game is as good as Sims 4. Or even, I don't know, Sims 2 also has a charm to it. It definitely, Sims 2 obviously, the fidelity is not there as much as Sims 3, but I think the cartoony style lends itself better. Like, it's aged better. Not, not saying that you're not allowed to like the look of Sims 3. It's still, it's still good. Don't, don't get me wrong. Don't, don't shoot me. But I, I feel like The Sims 2 is aged better than The Sims 3 in graphic style. Anyway, let's create a sim. <laughs> let, me, let me stop digging that hole for myself and let's make a sim. Oh yeah, look at this guy. You know what, I don't even want to change this, but we, we, we should do some stuff. Oh, I can't randomize names. Oh, they don't have that yet. Kentucky Pork Roast is this guy's name. Uh, and this game, they also had a skin tone like Slider, which is pretty cool. And then a few different base skin tones. Why don't they just do this in The Sims 4? I guess, you know what, let's not ask that question, because that's that's a rabbit hole that we don't want to go down. Let's give him a nice tan. Yeah. Damn. Dude, this guy's cool. We've also got a... Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Oh, you know, we're getting real buff, though. we got to explore creator style in all its glory, so we're going to use his hair, because I like it. Look at those colors. So you click on this icon down here, and you look at this. This is... They weren't kidding when they said, you know, customize everything. <laughs> do that and then the middle wait what is this actually called the base color can be oh that's kind of cool and then what's this one highlights can be maybe white no you know i kind of did like that uh the hot pinky color magenta yeah that's cool i do like that and then the the, the tips the tip maybe the tips are white yeah that's looking pretty cool <laughs> Oh god, his eyebrow color. No, 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 no. Let's just, can we just do like a, just like a brown or something? I can't really see it. His glasses are in the way. I guess it doesn't really matter. Beard. Should we give him like an actual beard? I feel like he should have an actual- Oh my god! <laughs> yes! Yeah, I'm... wait, can we do this one with the stubble and the mustache? No, no, no. Let's just do the- I like- I like the- I like the rainbow beard. Actually, can we do a rainbow beard? It gets a little oversaturated by one color. It's kind of hard to get like- a full-on rainbow. <laughs> Alright, that's what we'll do. Uh, I don't really want to mess with all this creator sim stuff. I was never good at this at the time. But in case you're wondering and you've not played this game before, if you go into advanced, you get these little little things here and then you use like sliders basically to adjust everything. Like for the nose, if we go- Oh, you can choose from a, a preset. And then you go like here and you select a bit of it. You do a, do a little bit of a slider. You can like rotate it. It's kind of hard to see, but- it's doing stuff. Anyway, that's why I don't really want to get into it. It's a bit boring. Considering we're making a really silly character. So, cool thing is, and this is all in the base game as well with all the colors and all that. We have one of these jackets here. So it gives you a few colors to choose from to start off with. But if you click down on the palette, oh, then we can customize everything. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, I really like that. Let's do that. Then it goes sleeves. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Kind of digging it. Then this is like the, the trims. I actually kind of like the trims, keeping them more simple. And the shirt underneath, tiles and most- oh my god, that. Wait, let's do- can I do flames on the sleeves? Yes! Uh, I think the background needs to be white though, maybe. Yeah, because it, it looks like- yeah! <laughs> there we go! That's a leather jacket! Actually, not that many pants in this game. I guess, uh, I guess it doesn't really matter though, does it? Because you, you only really need, that's the thing in The Sims 3, you only really need like sort of one pair. And then, well, not one pair, you only need a couple of pairs and you just change the colors. As long as you have the style. Oh yeah, the belt buckle, yes! Metal pants. <laughs> yeah, I like that, I like that. Oh, we need red cowboy boots, red cowboy boots, come on. Where are my cowboy boots? They better be, oh, there's no cowboy boots? I mean, they, I guess these are as booty as we're going to get. Oh, well, we can make them red. That's fine. All right, that's looking pretty good. Uh, I don't know if I want to do the other outfits, though, because I really can't be bothered. I think we've, got, we've got one outfit. we got one outfit. That's pretty good. All right, traits. So we can have five traits in this game, not three. Uh, this guy. Okay, what does this guy look like? Okay, well, he looks artistic. I'll give him that. He's flirty. Who wouldn't be with a... If you're that confident to do this... You'll probably be flirty, you know? But he's a good guy. He's a good guy, too. Great kisses kiss better than- I- I don't think this guy- If anything, this guy's a bad kisser. <laughs> he may be confident, but I don't think he's good at kissing. He's got a good sense of humor, though. He's funny. He laughs about it. He's like, ha I'm the worst kisser. <laughs> Kleptomaniac? Mm, we could be a klepto. 
I could see it. There we go. Alright, Lifetime Wish. Master of the Arts, Golden Tongue, Golden Fingers. Ooh, okay. I'm not- I don't even need to read what that is, I'm just gonna assume. Alright, favorites. His favorite food. His favorite food in the whole world, peanut butter and jelly. And his favorite music is gonna be classical. Because you don't- we're subverting expectations here. And his favorite color, rainbow. I guess like a light blue, because it's kind of like his beard, I guess. Edit biography. Wait, what was his name? Something rump steak. Kentucky pork roast. <laughs> Kentucky was born in Kansas. He was raised by two pigs and a wild boar. Once he taught himself how to talk, he decided to leave for the big city. There, he would become the specimen that he is today. A model citizen. There we go. Great. Right, so that's Kentucky Pork Roast. That's all we need. We could do more Sims, but we're not going to. Except... Alright. So, uh, we can go into houses already built or empty lots. I don't know why it's not showing me empty lots. Hang on, I think I need to go to edit town. Let's go edit town. Exit tutorial. There's like five different ways to move in a sim for some reason. And one, like a couple of them don't show empty lots. I rem you know what, I remember that being an issue the first time I played as well. Alright, so we're gonna move into, let's just go to, I like this little area up here. Let's go up here. 16,000. Alrighty, here we are in the world. It's obviously a big open world. It is beautiful. Let's build. Let's see what we can do. So there's no basement. There's no half walls. There's no... Uh, what else? What else is added? I don't know. There's no like... There's quite a... Oh, there's no curved pools. Well, let's just build something. Let's see what we end up with. We do something like this. Just a little box. It's automatically put a roof on for me. Oh, I remember auto roofs. Go away. <laughs> I look, I... <laughs> as much as I like a good old auto roof, I also want to build my own roof. Okay, then we want to adjust the roof height down. I don't think you could do individual roof angles yet. One other thing I'll note as well is that um, these icons are tiny. Like, that was actually one thing that they, they did. Uh, I remember them highlighting when Sims 4 came out. I was like, yeah, we made the icons way bigger. So it's like really hard to see them. Like, they're tiny. All right, so we're going to use... Yeah, there we go. Looking good. Then we get some little stairs coming up. See, the great, that, that is, that is still one of the best things about this game, is the fact that you see something in the catalog, it doesn't really go, but then it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, I can just click on it. Wait, can you not change stairs in the game? I, I know you could later on, maybe you couldn't at the start. Oh, well, I was just going on this big, big, uh, I was going on this big rant, I was going on this big tale of how great it is, how you can customize everything. But apparently in the release version of Sims 4, you could not, uh, Sims 3, sorry, you could not change the stairs. All right, okay. I guess that's good to know. Now set off auto railings, we don't need that. What does he use these then? Oh, you couldn't change the floor trim yet either. They added that in later too. You could recolor this. Wow, that, that is an awful default color scheme for it. Like it's got, well, like red and yellow, then another red. Oh, you can't do ceilings yet. They haven't done ceilings. Okay, there's no ceilings in base game. Okay, well, now we're starting to find stuff that is not here. Now, actually, one top tip in this game is if you're trying to save money. So there's a bunch of different, like, floor tiles in this game. Obviously, up to, like, 16 bucks. Uh, something get real expensive. If you want a fancy look, but you're on a budget, just use a carpet. Recolor the carpet, make it look fancy. I mean, obviously, not all of these will look good, but some of these patterns you can actually style to make it look really good. I mean, look at this! Look how fancy that is! It's four bucks. Bargain. Technically carpet, but hey. I really wish Foundation was like this in Sims 4, where you could just put any wallpaper on them. Why, why did they change that? Oh, actually, one other cool thing. If you're trying to like... Obviously, we're using a very different pattern, but if you're trying to get a similar color, if you use the Creator Style tool, and then one of these will have like a color palette in it. If you just drag one of these colors onto one of the wallpapers, hold down Shift, it will go across the whole thing. Now, obviously, that's too bright, but it means we're in the same sort of range of the color that we want. So we can probably just drag it down here somewhere. Get in the same, actually, look, you know what? It looks more red there, so I'm actually going to give it a... Then it has the same sort of tone to that floor tile. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. I mean, it's like a little older. Yeah, yeah, wash it out some more. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> what is this house? I'm going to I think I might change the foundation now. Actually, I'll change this bit of the foundation. Yeah, there we go. Got a little shack. Got, I guess these columns don't make sense anymore. I'm going to just drag the pattern on. You know what? Playing with this, because uh, if you play this game with all expansions uh, and all the updates installed, this creator style tool gets really laggy. 
but in base game, oh man, this is base game release version. This is so good. Dude, this makes it so much easier. And I guess if you just updated the base game to like current version, it would probably be fine too. Not many doors. But hey, you know what this game does have? If I put this door here and I'm like, oh, hang on. And I'm like, boy, I wish I had a plain white modern door. You better believe I can just make one. Just like this. Just get those plain colors on it. Look at that. Plain white modern. I mean, it's a little dodgy texture wise, but and especially it's better later on when you have more doors. But the point is, I can make a white door if I want a white door. And I'm going to have one. You can't stop me. Okay, now we got some windows on this puppy. All right, what do we need to- Oh, I hate this menu. I always hated this menu. Back to this one, please. Now, what do we need to live? Like a kitchen? All right, so we got the kitchen looking good. Uh, this is the kind of stuff you can do with creator style. Really make it your own. So, you know, the thing is, we might as well use it if it's there. You know, use it or lose it. All right, we need a bathroom. We'll do a bathroom, we'll do a, we'll do a bathroom out here. How about that? We'll do like a little outhouse. We don't have room in the house. There's no room for that. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. There we go. Rotten old door. Ooh, look at these lighting options. Not a lot. But that's okay. We only need one. We only need one for in here. Dude, there's, there's dirty textures. That's so good for this. I was gonna do something like wacky, but that is too good. It needs to be more brown though, I think. Not even like a... It's like a dirt, like a sort of yellowy old kind of, you know, that sort of aged color. Like it used to be, like the color where it's, you know, it used to be white, but it not it isn't anymore. Yeah, there we go. Rusty old taps. We'll need some sort of shower. Ah, we can't fit it. How much money do we have? Three, I've got $3,000, so. Do you want to spend too much? We'll just get a bed in the corner like this, it'll be fine. Spruce up the sheets a little. Yeah, there we go, nice. Oh, this one already comes with a nice pattern. I'll change it though. Oh, like snakeskin kind of thing. <gasps> Can we get- let's get gold! Get a, like a gold-plated sofa. There we go! Yeah! Look at that! That is stunning! <laughs> um... Let me put that there. Yes. This seems old-timey, so I want to give it an old-timey color. I don't know, that, that kind of color seems old-timey to me. You know? What do we do? So we got a TV, we got a place to eat, we got a place to, to do a to number two Z. we got a place to sleep. Uh, I guess a place to use a computer. You want a desk out of bricks? You got a desk out of bricks! Why not? <laughs> I can't even see the computer. Uh, we, we need to change that. Now I can see the computer! Yeah! Oh, this chair will not do. This will not do at all. Lovely. Okay, so computer, TV, place to cook, uh, toilet, bed. That's probably it. We could probably do some landscaping outside. Let's do that. Pathway. Oh, we need a driveway. Of course. How much is a parking spot? It's probably really cheap, right? 150 bucks. Okay. I'm gonna have it like here on the side. I'm gonna get this old car. Um, of course, we gotta make it look. We gotta make it look really good. I mean, if there's one time you're gonna use flames, the, pro oh, the problem is the flames face the wrong way. They need to be going down the. Oh, okay. Something else. Clouds on the car. Oh yeah, that's what we need. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Now we're gonna go back to landscaping. Obviously, got to get some dirt under the driveway where the car parks. Let's dry out the lot a little bit. I think it looks a little too nice here. Let's make it real, real good around, around here. Sort of like spilling out a little bit. Lovely. All right, it's time to get into live mode with a Kentucky pork roast. All right, so I guess the first thing we want to do is... <laughs> I, don't, I just built this, but looking at this, it's so bad. All right, let's find a job. No, you know what? Let's play a computer game. Screw it. Let's have fun. He's laughing at his life. <laughs> oh god, my life. Oh god. It's sad. Alright, let's- Please don't tell people how I live. Uh, Alright, here we go. What are we playing? Need for sp oh, is that Burnout? That's Burnout. I think it's Burnout Paradise. That was a fun game. Didn't age well though. Did not age well. Very fun game back in the day. <laughs> let's- let's find a job. Alright, come on. And then we gotta- we gotta go explore the world. Criminal? Wait, what, what was our career? Uh, we wanna be- Oh, we wanna have golden fingers. That's all right. Jesus. Criminal, political, business, science, military, criminal. Let's be a criminal. That sounds fun. Oops. Oh, that's right. You can, oh, that's right. You don't even need to do- Hang on. You don't even need to do this. What am I doing? Have I said this as my car? Oh, you don't even need to. I think it just is my car. All right. So, here we are in the world. If we go around town, I don't even remember these houses being the default houses. I'm going to be honest, I have no recollection of this, or that, 
or even this. Or this. I don't remember these houses at all. Did they change these? Or am I, am I making that up? No, I, you know what? It's just because I always lived over here. That's why. Because I can never afford those houses. I just don't remember them. Uh, yeah, this is really cool because you just go here and you be, oh, you go here and be like, join the political career. Or join their law enforcement career. Or join, oh, get a part-time job. Or join the music career. Now let's go join the criminal career, which they hang out. I need to zoom out some more. They ha hang out over here. Hello. Ooh, this looks shady. All right, let's go do that. So now, we go back over this way. We should hopefully jump in our sweet ride. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go! Yeah! Oh. Yeah! Look at us go around. Right around town in the car I love. And I'm like, F you. F her too. Ooh, ooh. All right, yeah, we didn't, we didn't need to come here. We could have just done it on the computer, but there you go. Cool. Let's go. Where do people hang out in this game? Well, some people at the pool. Let's go to the pool. Okay, check out the pool. Hey guys, I'm new in town. Uh, I just moved in. Uh, I'm a free spirit. Uh, I got cool hair and a rainbow beard. Uh, yeah, the rainbow dye didn't really work. Like, he just talks really loud and obnoxiously. The rainbow dye didn't work because the blue really overtook it. What? You don't need to yell? Oh, sorry. It's like I'm right in front of you. <laughs> um, okay, who is he? Is anyone here? I, I need a... Uh, leave me alone. I don't, I don't want to talk to you. Let's find someone cool. I want to find someone cool like me. Oh my god, there's cameras all over the place. I'm not used to this. Uh, hello? You look pretty cool. Hank Goddard. What up, bro? I like your, I like your hairstyle. Funny. Make a silly face. Tell a funny story. <laughs> That's such a weird thing to do. <laughs> when you meet someone. Cool. Alright, I'm bored of this guy. I'm bored of this. Let's find someone. Is anyone in the park? Willow Hennessy. Holly, <gasps> Holly Alto! That doesn't look like Holly Alto. Let's go. That looks like a very different Holly Alto to the one we know in, uh, oh my god, she is super different. Wait, are you a teenager? Oh, she is a teenager. Oh, okay, well I don't want to talk to her then, that's weird. Who are you? Molly French. Hello. Oh my god, look at this kid, he's such a nerd. Such a little nerd. Oh, it's Malcolm Landgrab, of course he is, what a jerk. <laughs> I forgot this was like, sort of back in time from like the other games. Romantic. Ask if sing- you single? Ready to mingle? You married? You know anyone? There's a lot of people showing up here. Morgana Wolf. Holly is- uh, Molly is a hopeless romantic and she's single! Oh, don't be hopeless! I'm here now, don't worry. Pork chop Kentucky face- no, what's his name? Kentucky Pork Roast is here. To save the day. Okay, Gunther, Goth, get out of the way. Oh, Molly is flirty, hello. Compliment personality, I do like it. Compliment appearance. Wow, you got- you got a good appearance straight out of 2009 fashion sense. I, myself, uh, like to wear my normal thing. What about whisper in ear? Kentucky is flirty, which means he really gets a kick out of flirting with other sims. Yeah, I'm sure he does. Romantic. Compliment personality again? Sure. Leap into arms. Is that too forward? Well, we'll find out. Catch me! Oh my god, that'd be so weird. Like, get off me! What are you doing? Eh, <laughs> she's into it. Give amazing massage. Hey, I know I just met you, but like... I'm really good at giving massages. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's so weird. It's also super weird how close you guys are standing. Like, have you ever met a stranger and stood this close to someone? Like, if you're standing there, it's too close. It's like, step back, like, step off, you know? That's too close. First kiss. <gasps> oh, here we go. Wait, get away. Gee, look at this. Look at this game, though. You know how I was saying about this game's graphics aging? Is it, would you want to kiss that face? I'm sorry, like, I... I'm sure she'd be very, very... She's a very pretty sim. In maybe The Sims 4. Here we go. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look, look, that's beautiful. Well, game crashed. I literally hit C to take a screenshot, and the game was just like, No! Nope! Bye! It didn't even have a crash message. It just closed. Taking a screenshot crashes a game. I guess we ended on a high note. We get, we had a kiss. We lost all our progress. Uh, that's The Sims 3 base game with no patches. Uh, <laughs> it was it was fun while it lasted. I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. You enjoyed the journey. If you want to see more Sims 3 or like base game stuff, or we might come back to this one just because I feel like we, we did get cut short there, but maybe next time. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time and have an awesome day.